Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sandeep Sharma, Pediatric Super Speciality Faculty at Peplatter. Here, I am going to talk a few points which will be relatable to you if you are targeting super speciality entrance preparation in the field of pediatrics. Also, I am going to talk about the features and the key aspects of the new updated version of our super speciality program, how it is going to be beneficial for you. So, just stay back with me for a few minutes and I will try to summarize everything. Now, what are the pain points for any need super speciality aspirants, particularly people who have just finished MD or DNB? While during their residency, they had a very hectic schedule and so they were unable to focus on the super speciality preparation. This is one pain point which is often found. Secondly, residents often find less time to prepare because they have to pass their exams also, they have to learn new things also, and then immediately they have to sit in the super speciality exam. From aspirant point of view, there is not a single product apart from Tripladder SS that provides all the content assets like video lectures, like notes, like QBank center series all at one place. And the syllabus is so vast, you not only have Nelson to read but also about 10 to 15 specialty wise textbooks along with the recent updates, guidelines and review articles. So it sometimes becomes overwhelming. And there is inability to understand the core concepts of Nelson. We all have read Nelson, but you might be knowing and understanding relating to this point that Nelson is not an easy book. It teaches beautifully, but at the same time, a few things need clarification. So, how we have created this content and framed the entire structure? Regarding content creation, what I have done is, in my speciality, I have analyzed the content from a student's perspective. Like if I'm a resident or I'm just past my MD or DNB, what I should know and how I should be preparing. We have created it from the student's perspective. Second, we have utilized the latest standard textbooks and the review articles. We have gone through Nelson 21st edition. Apart from that, all the review articles, notes, they are complementary to the videos. And we have tried to incorporate the latest guidelines, including the 2022 and 2023 updates in the new videos the new content that we have created. We have formatted the content to simplify concepts so you will not find any cut copy paste or you know the traditional way of PPT reading that is often found unfortunately in many of the medical college lectures also. We have tried to make it more interactive. At least at my end I have tried to simplify giving analogies. Some of them may work, some of them may not but at least you will be able to understand maybe 10% better. That's what has been my endeavor in creating the content. We have focused on the topics which have been asked in the last five years because if not the direct repeats, at least the topics have a high degree of repetition every year. And altered weightage has been taken care of. Now we know that in the updated super speciality need SS exam pattern, you have more questions coming from the general part. General, I mean, every speciality is going to get its own due weightage and there are parts like which, which cannot be put into one category. Things related to clinical aspects or inborn errors of metabolism or clinical scenarios of various infectious diseases, neonatology scenarios, we have tried to incorporate all of them according to the latest pattern. And the exam focuses specifically for need assess. If you are targeting INISS, yes, the content is going to be useful, but it is purely formatted according to need assess exam. And the new QBank has been made to complement the videos as I just told. Now, what do we have in the notes? The snapshot shown along is uh, just a snippet showing you the new updated content, the new updated notes that we have made for all of you. So this time our vision for notes is that students can read the notes even without video lecture. So running short on time, you don't want to see my face. You have already seen enough of my face. You only want to go through the notes. You will not feel that I am not teaching and you are only trying to cram up the concepts. We have tried to incorporate elements in the notes which can also you know give you a push towards understanding the concept so notes are now complementary as well standalone also they are going to be useful notes are designed in a way that they act as a quick revision tool so one week before the exam no need to go for the specific videos just go through the notes it's going to be an effective revision tool uh, the images the quality has been improved the clarity has been improved based upon the feedback we have got so these are new notes let me clarify these are new notes with high definition images being used here. And important information boxes have been added. As you can see in this page, so we have we have been, uh, like we have, I've talked about endocardial cushion defect. So key points about endocardial cushion defect has been added as an important information. And uh, crosswords of actual information have also been added at the end of every chapter. It's a fun element. Sometimes small little things, small different ways of 
remembering the facts makes it easier for us to uh, remember the fact based questions it makes it easier to answer those fact based questions what do we have in the queue back now as a practicing tool we don't want to bombard our users with you know 10000 20000 50000 questions because we know you have limited time so we have hand picked about 4000 questions in pediatric cases and these 4000 questions have gone through two levels of processing and in case you still find any doubts about it there will obviously be controversies we will be coming out with a way that you can directly communicate with the faculty in this case me and ask about the explanation of particular question so the q bank is going to be very very effective at the same time lean so lean body mass works similarly lean q bank also likely to work the questions in q bank have been framed as per the recent exam pattern and we have tried to incorporate more number of clinical scenarios all these questions are in line with the video lectures and all the options both the correct and incorrect options have been explained in detail this will help you to study a particular topic completely in one place to understand the key points leading to correct answer and to eliminate why a particular confusing option is not the answer you will know why a is the answer and why b c d is not the answer and what do we have in treasures this is the photograph of a treasure which has been added so treasures are handout of important topics they are again last minute revision tool and all the treasures are summary of notes in a concise manner so detailed notes will be obviously lengthy so uh, if you are starting preparation you have 6 months or more than 6 months you can read the detailed video lectures listen to the video lectures make your own notes or annotate the notes that you get if you have about 1 month or so left you can focus on the notes alone because videos you have already gone through only go towards the videos if you feel that a particular thing needs clarification and last week before the exam you can focus on the treasures so it's going to be a quick process for every level of preparation we have tried to put data we have tried to put something to help you in your preparation and the pediatric ss has about 300 plus treasures that we have incorporated that is not all subject wise unit tests have been added these are static tests which are created unit wise they have about 50 questions with detailed explanation and so they will give you not only the holistic coverage but they will also tell you where you are standing and the marking scheme of these unit test is also based upon the neat ss exam pattern so thank you very much to, for listening to all this remember end of the day the battle is to be fought by you we can only guide you i'm here to guide you in this program it's a new program there are going to be a lot of changes in the videos in the content in the notes and i truly do feel that uh, if you are a serious pediatric ss aspirant for neat ss exam you will definitely be winning